Gentlemen, hello everybody. Mike here, Baseball Collector. Happy Saturday to you. Hope your weekend's going well. We've got the Final Four going on today. That should be pretty good. Um, played in a golf tournament this morning. Played about six holes, even par, and then we got washed out by rain. So that kind of sucked. I've trimmed up the beard a little bit, getting a little, you know, better looking, I guess. It was all scraggly. And uh, man, I've got a lot of gray in my beard. So if you're older like me, you know what I'm talking about. But what I want to do today in this video is kind of go over the second lot. I, a few days ago, showed the 10 letters that I had won on REA auctions, Robert Edward auctions. And I also bought a lot of Hall of Fame postcards. And they're from the celebration set. This is the stack of them. And I'm going to show you not only those, but kind of how I store those. And I think it's pretty slick. And we'll show you the binder that I keep those in show you what I've got both in that set and the Hall of Fame postcard set different than the celebration postcard set which this represents and this lot was 138 uh, total autographs 15 different players and I paid about seven just under seven dollars and fifty cents an autograph so it's crazy and of the 15 players I needed eight of them so that was the real thing that drew me to the lot plus I'm a hoarder of autographs, of Hall of Fame autographs, so to buy 20 of a certain person, okay, you know, at $7.50 a piece, I can either trade them later, sell them, and basically break even, uh, but to me, it's a, it's a no-brainer, and I absolutely am thrilled that I got these. So let's get straight to kind of how I store my Prez Steels that are raw, let you look at that, and hope you enjoy it. Hang on one second. All right, so first off, let me show you guys how I store my Perez steels that are not slabbed. I'm gonna do this kind of handheld so I can move things around. So if they're shaken, I apologize. But I use these archival binders and they are very hard to find. I've been looking for more of them and I'm having a hard time finding them. But I got these years and years ago because I wanted to protect my cards that were in pages beyond just a normal binder. And so these are real slick because they stack easy. You can put them upright. They look really good. I made a little custom spine. Uh, what do you want to call it? It identifies what cards are in there. Just a label, essentially. And put those in there. I have kind of a template that I've made for them now. So when I want to change it up, it's easy. Just retype the stuff and print it and put it on the thing. And then, uh, so these open up. I'll pull they just have these little snaps on the side right here. You just snap it up. It even says open, open, <laughs> thanks. And then you open them up. And uh, so inside here are my Perez Steels. This is the Hall of Fame autograph set. And this is just what I have. Again, not slabbed, so that they're just raw. They're in here. There's So here we go, once they're open, you got uh, Hank Aaron, Rod Carew, Orlando Cepeda, sorry about the glare. Raleigh Fingers. Turn the page. You've got uh, Bob Gibson, Lefty Gomez, Carl Hubble, and Travis Jackson, who's actually a kind of hard one to find. And then we go to the next page. There's Fergie, Al Kaline. Now look at the difference between the Fergie signature and the alkaline signature you notice the fading on the k-line so i got a bunch of these in a lot that have that problem that they were just faded autographs for whatever reason who knows how they were stored were they in sunlight i can't tell you but the fergie's so much more bold age certainly could also be a part of it the quality of the marker that was used all sorts of reasons why that could be that way one marichal there beautiful Willie Mays so again these are the Hall of Fame postcards they're not the celebration ones which we'll get to in just a second Brooks Robinson and Frank Robinson both on the Orioles those are just awesome got Red Sheen Dainz and Duke Snyder there's Mr. Duke a Flatbush here you got Willie Stargell a beautiful Ted Williams, just gorgeous. 
Really bold signature on that one. Yaz. And that's it for the Hall of Fame postcards. So then we go here. I've got a couple of uh, just postcards. There's a Fergie Jenkins and then a Yogi Berra. That's the, from the greatest moments or greatest something or other. Another Perez Steel set that I'm working on. So that's it for those. And then we get into the celebration postcards. I have those separated. So you got Aparicio and Banks. You got Johnny Bench and Lou Bedrew. So all these I had, I'll point out the ones that I got in the lot that I won. So again, all these I already had. Happy Chandler, Ray Dandridge. Bill Dickey I actually needed in this set. So he was a new one that I got along with several dupes, which we'll see in a second. Up here is Rick Farrell and the Billy Herman I needed. So I did not have that one. So that's good to add that. I needed the Catfish Hunter. So I got one of him and then Monty Irvin there on the right. These are just beautiful signed. I mean, the art's great. Um, all of it just screams for a Hall of Fame autograph collector like myself. It's just perfect. George Kell, Ralph Kiner, already had those. Bob Lemon. Buck Leonard I actually needed. I didn't have him. Uh, great Negro League player. And I ended up getting a few Buck Leonards, which you'll see in a second. Eddie Matthews and Johnny Mize. The Mize I uh, already had, so did I have. I also had the Matthews. The Pee Wee Reese I did not have, so that was a new one. And the Brooks Robinson I already had, but so cool. Look at the bunting on the, the Brooks Robinson, and you can see they're playing the Pirates down here. Let me show you. So that's from the World Series. So cool. Very slick, huh? I think so. That just got really bright. Okay. Oh, see, I got paint on my hand. I've been painting with my wife. All right, Joe Sewell up here at the top. Focus, please. Focus. There we go. Uh, Joe Sewell, I did not have. Duke Snyder, I did not have. What's cool about this Duke Snyder is he's got a full name signature, which is great. And at the bottom, you can see he's celebrating after a home run with, I think, Pee Wee Reese was number one, and 39 was Roy Campanella. So that's really cool that he added that. Dick Perez added that shot as his action shot. Warren Spawn and Billy Williams I already had. And then the last one is Carl Yastrzemski, which I did not have. So that was a great add. Yastrzemski's kind of expensive. And then in this binder, I also keep a bunch of just other kind of bigger cards. Like here are some exhibits cards that are signed. There's Stan Musial. Richie Ashburn, Phil Rizzuto, and Red Ruffing. So those are just four kind of postcard. These first three there are um, exhibits cards. Very cool. So there you go. There's the binder. Now let me show you. I'm going to stop this and I'll get out all the ones that I got uh, in the lot. Hang on. So again, I'll show you close up kind of different... Um, other than the ones that were there were only one and they're already in the binder just the different players and I think you can really get a great idea of how beautiful these cards are um, here's what the stack looks like by you know that's how many I got all of those uh, again it was a total of 138 15 different players but I needed like eight of them so that was a, a big score for me and uh, I was really excited again with what I paid I was thrilled um, so there's the Lou Bedrew. There were a total of uh, just one. This is the only Bedrew in the lot. And then next up is the Happy Chandler, which his autos are in different conditions, really. But there were 20 Happy Chandlers uh, in total in the lot that I won. So that was uh, not too bad. Great picture of him. Next up is... Bill Dickey, great Yankees catcher, and there were a total of, 
didn't have any Dickies before. There were six in this lot. So that was awesome. Next up was Rick Farrell, who has a just simple, great signature. That's what his autograph looks like up close. Uh, Rick Farrell, I got nine of them in the lot. So awesome. Very, very cool. Next up is Catfish Hunter, Jim Catfish Hunter, shown here on the Yankees. But if you notice the picture down at the bottom, it's showing him uh, pitching for the A's, which I think is pretty cool to incorporate two different teams that he was a huge part of. And I didn't have Catfish Hunter, like I said before, so that was nice to get an, one of him and, and two others. It had three total in the lot. I also got three of this guy in the lot, Ralph Kiner, and uh, there you go. That's what that looks like, beautiful Pittsburgh Pirates player. Next up is a Cleveland Indians pitcher, Bob Lemon. And when there's multiples, it, really these guys were so used to signing these things that they're all signed really well, kind of in the same spot. There's not much variance in the quality of the autograph. For a lot of these, um, for Bob Lemon, there were 21 Bob Lemons in the lot, which might sound like a lot, but uh, compared to this guy, Buck Leonard, there were 34 Buck Leonards in the lot. So if anybody needs a Buck Leonard, let me know. Uh, I got 34 of them. So if you need one for your set, if you're going to start working on these, let me know. But great one there. Beautiful picture. Johnny Mize shown here with the Giants on the top and I think the Yankees on that bottom picture. Again, similar to Catfish Hunter. There were only two Mizes in the lot. And then the next one is Dodger Great here. Uh, if I can get it off the pile. There's Pee Wee Reese right there. Beautiful. Um, I didn't have Pee Wee Reese at all. And then I got 14 of them. So 14 of those. Next up here is Joe Sewell. And this is for the Chicago White Sox. And I got 12 Joe Sewells in the lot. So needed one before don't need one now the last two players first one is cub great billy williams there were four of those in the lot and then the last one that i needed for sure and got was carl yastrzemski and i ended there were seven yastrzemskis in the lot so Man, I couldn't be more thrilled with something like this to just get so many at once. And most people would say, well, why do you need that many? And the answer is I don't, but I don't mind having them for what I paid. And I'm a kind of hoarder of Hall of Fame autographs anyway. So there you go, guys. There's what I got. I know this has been long. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you soon and keep collecting.